Water damage or flooding in your home can be quite a stressful situation. And because it's such an uncommon disaster, not many people are prepared for it when it does happen. But don't panic. There are many things that you can do to minimize the amount of damage caused to your home. The first step to take is to turn off the main water supply to your home. That way, if the water damage was caused by a plumbing leak, this will prevent any excess water from coming into your home. It's also a good idea to turn off the main breaker to your home. That way, if any electrical components or wiring are in contact with the water, you're not at risk to be electrocuted. The next step is to try to determine what type of water you're dealing with. If the water is murky or it has a foul smell, it's probably best that you minimize the contact you have with it. If you have small children or people with immune deficiencies in the home, it's probably best that they evacuate the property until the damage has been restored. You should also take as many photographs of the affected areas as possible. That way it's well documented for your records and for your insurance company. Once you've contacted your insurance company to confirm that your policy covers the damage, it's advised that you contact a professional damage restoration company to fully assess and then fully restore the damage. While you wait for help to arrive, it's a good idea to try to locate where the leak is. This will make it easier for your insurance company and for the damage restoration company that you contacted. You can also try to elevate your furniture on the affected area off the ground with blocks or something else sturdy that you can find. This will prevent any further damage from happening to it. Do not move the furniture to a dry part of your home as this may spread the damage and cause further contamination to your home. If you need help finding a restoration company you can trust, visit waterdamagelocal.com. We provide free estimates, work with all insurance companies, and we offer a 60-minute emergency response time. Just remember whatever you do to act fast, as mold and mildew and other structural problems can start to develop within 48 hours. For more information and advice, visit the education section of waterdamagelocal.com where you will find dozens of helpful articles and stories.